Arkansas ranks low nationally in health care, and with COVID-19, health care coverage is at the top of some Arkansans' minds. I asked the candidates how they would improve health care in Arkansas. We have uh, got to, to give incentives uh, for physicians to um, come to smaller areas. We need to support our small hospitals. Um, it is a big deal if you live in a rural place and you can't go to a hospital or you have to travel like an hour away. Um, where I live in Eureka Springs, we have the smallest bed hospital in the state, 14 beds. We are you know, trying to maintain it, trying to keep it open. We have to have this available for our residents. We do need to come up <clears throat> with something better. I know we tried uh, Obamacare, or Kansans didn't like that at all, and it raised the price of everything. Uh, I hope that we can come up with something this next session that can uh, just a be better idea completely. Uh, but now what my opponent is doing right now is really good. They're really good. They have a free clinic there at, uh, at Echo Clinic, uh, and they're helping a lot of people that otherwise wouldn't have the help. Arkansas is one of three states in the country that does not have hate crime laws. Lawmakers will consider a hate crime bill during the next legislative session in 2021. I asked the candidates what they think of the state's hate crime legislation. We need it. We are one of three states left in the United States that does not have a hate crime. That's unbelievably bad for Arkansas. I'm sick of Arkansas being last, last in everything, <laughs> or almost last. I'm not crazy about that. Uh, I, I can see uh, some things, but I really don't agree with that. Uh, it, I'm, I'm trying to think of how to be more specific, but uh, I'm, I'm not pleased with it at all the way it is right now. Uh, I think it should be changed a bit, if anything. I mean, who's no, before you, before you know it, we'll be having Christians uh, uh, be persecuted too as well. Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.